is Christian, aka Catch Without Doom, and today I'm gonna to bring you a Photoshop tutorial on how to do the Xerox grainy grungy effect, however you want to call it. I'll probably show you some pop-ups around the screen. Hopefully they pop up right now. All right, we're good. I'm just gonna show you a couple techniques and how I go about it, and maybe you can also use it on your workflow. So you just have to see and find out. Shop open. So I already have mine, and you're gonna to want to drag and drop uh, an image. I'm gonna use this for an example. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the adjustment layers. I'm gonna pick solid color. I'm gonna pick a gray one and this could be 50% because it doesn't really matter. All right, so once we have our gray layer, I want to go to filter, camera raw filter, and we're gonna add some grain. So, and that's under effects. So turn that shit up. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is add a little bit more noise. So we can do that by noise, add noise, and boom. I think that's good enough. All right, so obviously we're gonna need a threshold. So make sure you add a threshold and make sure it stays on top. Now go back to your gray layer that we have, change the blend mode. And we're gonna wanna play with it a little bit. So find something in the blend mode. I'm gonna do overlay. Just go back to the threshold, play with it. See? You can just grab a uh, levels, curves, or exposure. I'm gonna go with exposure. If I wanna add more light, I'm just gonna drag it all the way up and invert it, invert the mask. Then I'm gonna wanna grab my brush tool and we have our brush tool. We wanna set our flow to a low flow so it's not hitting so hard. For example, let's say you were to, you know, use it, see? It's too harsh. So we need a little low flow. And we're gonna wanna go to our, our brush settings, make sure the hardness is all the way down. And you just wanna, you know, drag some parts that you want more light. So let's say I want it dark, right? Now we invert that image or mask. Sorry guys, I've been playing with Photoshop too much. It's been messing with my head. All right, so we're just gonna mask it, make it more darker, some spots that we want. Cool. There's another method that you can do. You can use the burn tool. It's not gonna let us paint it because we need to rasterize it. And once you press okay, it rasterizes it. So we can make it more dark. And you can adjust it from the top. Exposure, okay, it's like that. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. So the other part I did want to show you is you don't just have to use that green layer. You can find and make your own patterns. For example, I already have mini patterns, right? Let's say I wanted to use some type of half tone, right? You do the same thing. And I think this overlay will look good. But yeah, you just really have to play around, explore. All right, so the next thing you can do if you want a transparent background or remove all the white, you're gonna want to select all of your layers, duplicate it, and press Command E to merge it. So I'm gonna turn that, that one off. So we have our merge layer. Now what we want to do is create an empty layer. Create an empty layer. Next, you're gonna want to select the go to the top bar and put color range. Obviously, you're gonna wanna select black. Once you have black selected, make sure all the fuzziness is all the way up and it'll have everything selected, okay? Stay with me. So now you go to your empty layer. You're gonna wanna paste it. Oh, wrong color. Paste it. And boom. For example, see that? Beautiful. All right, so we're done with that first method. So now I wanna show you the other way that people use it. So grab another image. So open your image, make sure it's a smart object. After you select it, go to filter, filter gallery. And I already have it on there. So I'll explain to you where to find them. I obviously, you need a stamp, which adds like a threshold. And you usually find that throughout on the sketch area. Grain should be all the way on the bottom catalog. So you find the grain, play with it, intensity, you want it higher, let's see. 
cool no that's way too much i think that is it for the video um if i could tell you guys anything i would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and just go leave me a follow for my instagram i also got 20 free textures in my link in my bio if you guys really like the video make sure you guys leave a like follow and that's it my name is christian aka casual doom i really hope you like the video and i'll see you until next time